Good morning, Deacon Susan from St. Paul's Lutheran Church here. I am hoping that all of your families are doing well, but I also know that there is a lot of anxiety as we continue uh, staying at home and moving into our different phases across the country. Throughout April, I offered Sunday school lessons that were written and we've offered different faith formation resources, but now I wanted to switch to video. I miss seeing all of you, and I'm sure some of your kids miss seeing me as well. Um, so I hope that this is in addition to Sunday School and in addition to the other resources that are offered, and that maybe, perhaps, um, that your children and your family might be able to continue to grow in your faith in the midst of this stressful time. I'm going to share with you the Faith 5 Method. I'm going to share my screen. And the Faith 5 Method is um, the, the way that, uh, sorry, the way, the way, one of the ways that we can talk about our faith with our children, we have share, share your highs and lows, share the good and the bad, the icky and the the fun stuff of the day, which may be hard to do when you're home all day, but still kids might be able to come up with some ideas. Maybe they saw a butterfly or something really cool on their evening walk, or maybe they learned something fun with their uh, preschool or teachers or any of the videos that they've seen. Read scripture together, talk about the scripture together, pray together, and bless each other on your forehead. So those are some of the ways the, the Faith 5 method is one way that you can share your faith. Today, I'm going to continue the story that we did on Sunday for God's House. This is from the Spark Story Bible, and it is called God's House. It is from the Gospel of John, in case you don't remember. Jesus taught his disciples many things. Don't be sad or worried, he said. Believe in God and in me. God's house in heaven is so big that everyone can have a room. I'm going there to get your rooms ready. Later, I'll come back to take you to God's house. You know the way to where I'm going. Thomas and Philip looked confused. What way do you mean, they asked. Jesus said, I am the way to know God. Because you know me, you know God too. I've taught you about life with God and the good things that God wants you to do. Pray, ask for anything, and I'll help you do it. Thomas and Philip smiled. We can follow you and do what you ask us to do. You are our way to heaven. We can live in God's house too. That's God's house. Now, for, for those of you with young kids, you might want to talk about what they think God's house looks like. They've seen your house and maybe the houses of their friends and grandparents. So they can talk about what they think God's lo house looks like. For a little bit older kids, that may not interest them as much. So you can talk about some things that they might be sad or worried about, as well as with your younger kids. So what are some things that, you're, that you were sad or worried about? Your whole family can talk about this. What do you think God's house is like? And what are some ways that you know that God is with you during this time? This week, the weather has been so lovely. And where I live, um, I live in an apartment complex. So there's a lot of sidewalk to go on walks around. And I've been able to go out and visit all the people that have dogs because they like to run up to me. Of course, they like meeting people as much as we like meeting them and, of course, staying away appropriately from their owners. Um, I have loved the sun this week. And I know that God is with me through the conversations I've had with my friends and with my family because it is very easy to let all the worries of life grab us and keep us from knowing that God is with us. So God says in God, or Jesus says in God's house, don't be sad or worried. 
don't be sad or worried. Eventually, we will get to see each other again. We will get to resume the activities that we like to do, like going to the playground, the beach, restaurants, vacations. And I don't say all those things to make you sad, but it's just to give you things to look forward to of what we can do. And sometimes, like Thomas and Philip, we're going to be confused. We may not know where Jesus is, and we may not be able to see God every day. But in our faith, we know that God is with us. We know that God loves us and God cares for us, as well as I love each of you and care for you. Let's pray. In Jesus, in, in Jesus' name we pray. Gracious God, we give thanks for the gifts that you give us, for the people and the places and the toys and the activities you put in our lives so that we don't feel sad or anxious. We give thanks for your house, for the ways that you welcome us in and care for us and love us. Amen. Now, one of the things I want you to think about this week is how can you share God's love with others? How can you share God's house with others? You may not be able to go to somebody's house physically. Maybe, maybe it's not safe yet, but maybe you could drop off some cookies or a note or mail a note. If you need ideas, just email or ask me and I'll continue to post them.